Hello everyone. Today, we are going to solve an exciting optimization problem. We are given three positive numbers A, B, and C, such that their sum is fixed. A plus B plus C equals 3. Our goal is to find the maximum value of the following expression. J equals 1 over A squared plus B squared plus 2, plus 1 over B squared plus C squared plus 2, plus 1 over C squared plus A squared plus 2. Let's dive into how we can solve this problem. To find the maximum value of J, we will attempt to find an upper bound for it. Let's try to bound J by some real number U. After some algebraic manipulation, we introduce a new variable k. k equals a squared plus b squared over a squared plus b squared plus 2 plus b squared plus c squared over b squared plus c squared plus 2 plus c squared plus a squared over c squared plus a squared plus 2. With this, we note that k plus 2 times j equals 3 Now, let's try to find a lower bound for k and use it to get an upper bound for j. Next, we apply the Cauchy-Schwarz inequality to help us bound k. Using Cauchy, we get the following bound. Simplifying, we get This is our first step in setting up a bound for K. Now, Let's shift our focus to another helpful expression, h. We define h as the square root of a squared plus b squared multiplied by the square root of b squared plus c squared multiplied by the square root of c squared plus a squared. Using the Cauchy-Schwarz inequality again, we get The product of a squared plus b squared and b squared plus c squared is greater than or equal to b squared plus ac, all squared. We can now apply the same reasoning to the other terms, giving us the square root of a squared plus b squared times the square root of b squared plus c squared is greater than or equal to b squared plus ac. Similarly, the square root of b squared plus c squared times the square root of c squared plus a squared is greater than or equal to c squared plus b a. And finally, the square root of c squared plus a squared times the square root of a squared plus b squared is greater than or equal to a squared plus c b. Summing these, we get h is greater than or equal to the sum of a squared plus b squared plus c squared plus up plus bc plus ca. This bound on h will further help us bound k. With the bound on h in mind, we obtain k 
is greater than or equal to 3 times the sum of a squared plus b squared plus c squared divided by 6 plus 2 times the sum of a squared plus b squared plus c squared. which simplifies to 3 over 2. This is the refined lower bound for k. Now that we have a refined bound for k, let's substitute it into our equation for k plus 2 times j equals 3. Since k is greater than or equal to 3 over 2, we can solve for j. j equals 1 over 2 times 3 minus k, which is less than or equal to 3 over 4. Thus, the maximum value of j is 3 over 4, and this maximum is achieved when a equals b equals c equals 1. Now that we've found the maximum value of j, it's time for a new challenge. Let's consider finding the minimum value of the same expression. This will require a different approach, but we can still use similar techniques. Here's the problem. Find the minimum value of j. Try it out, and we'll cover the solution in the next video. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you found this explanation helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Your support helps us create more content like this. See you in the next video.